Hello everybody. My name is Edward and I'd like to tell you the story of the Paddo. <clears throat> so, the Paddo is a creature from old English myth, old English storytelling, and it's awfully old. And nobody has ever really seen the Paddo. So there's not many people who can say what the Paddo looks like. Some people say the Paddo looks like a ugly little boy. Like a little boy that's half frog, half newt, with rubbery, wet fingers and rubbery, wet toes and big, slippery, wet lips. But those who have heard the Paddo know you can tell when the Paddo is nearby because of the noise the Paddo makes, which is a kind of a loop, 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 looping sound. So our story begins one day when a young maiden was going to the well to fetch a pail of water for her and her dear old mother. So, <clears throat> listen then friends and I'll tell you again a strange old tale so you'll see of a foul paddo which upon a maiden fell as she came to get water down from the well, a strange old tale, so you'll see, my friends, a strange old tale, so you'll see. So, with a pail she came, to fetch water she tried, but the pail was to fail, for the well it was dry. Oh, why, oh, why is the well dry? Where is all the water? Dramatically she cried, and then, her ears heard a scuffling sound and a foul smell came creeping round as the paddo came loop, bloop, blooping out the ground. Oh, why do you weep, my hinny, my sweet? Oh, I cannot fetch the water, said she. Well? I'll fetch you water, my hinny, my sweet, if you will marry me. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, go on then. Yeah, I will. Foolish young maid said yes straight away. Such was her need for a drink. But the paddo dived down into the well and he proved true. The well soon overflew, but when he came back up, the maid, she was gone in a blink, ran back to her mother with a drink. And she forgot all about the foul paddo until later that night, as they lay in bed, a raucous noise came rattling, a clamour came clattering, a big bang bump battering down in the street. And the paddo sang his song so sweet. Oh, open the door, my hinny, my heart. Open the door, my darling. For I am the fellow to whom you were wed. Down in the meadow by the dry well bed. Says the mother to the daughter, Who's that down at the door? The daughter says, Pshaw, it's a foul paddo rolling round on the floor. Well, let him in, cried the mother. It's bad manners that I abhor. We can't have a foul paddo rolling round on the floor. So the paddo came loop, bloop, blooping in, sat down by the fire and began to sing. Ow, fetch me some supper, my hinny, my heart. Fetch me some supper, my darling, for I am the fellow to whom you were wed, down in the meadow by the dry well bed. Pshaw, says the daughter, am I to fetch a foul paddo his supper? Oh, you'll do it right now, said mother, for good manners are pro proper. So the paddo had his supper, and he felt a little better, but he soon began to stutter, and he warbled, and he wailed, Oh, send me to bed, my hinny, my heart, send me to bed, my darling, for I am the fellow to whom you were wed, 
down in the meadow by the dry well bed. Pshaw, says the daughter, am I to send a foul paddo to bed? You'll do it right now, said mother. Let him lay down his head. So the paddo lay down, made a funny little sound, then with breath fierce and foul, teeth black and brown, he said, Cuddle my back, my hinny, my heart. Cuddle my back, my darling. For I am the fellow to whom you were wed, down in the meadow by the dry well bed. Pshaw, says the daughter, now I cannot do that. Give a foul, ugly paddo a cuddle round his smelly, fat back. Oh, you'll do it right now, said Mother. It's manners that you lack. Give him a little cuddle round his poor old back. So the maid, down she lay, and then his voice came again. He said, Give me a kiss, my hinny, my heart. Give me a kiss, my darling. For I am the fellow to whom you were wed, down in the meadow by the dry well bed. For sure, says the daughter, now I, I cannot do this. Give a foul, ugly paddo, my pretty little kiss. Oh, a kiss, kiss this is just a politeness. You can never go amiss with a pretty little kiss. So a kiss she gave, and then his voice came again. He said, now fetch me an axe. My hinny, my heart, fetch me an axe, my darling. So the maid fetched an axe, and when she came back, he said, Now cut off my head, my hinny, my heart, cut off my head, my darling. For I am the fellow to whom you were wed, down in the meadow by the dry well bed. So, quick as a flash, the maid let fall the axe, and the paddo fell down to the floor. Then he arose. Safe and sound, up from the ground, as the prettiest prince you ever had saw. And of course, needless to say, they were married straight away and were happy as two people can be. But, take care my friends, what promises you tell when you're down by the well. For the paddo is loop, bloop. Blooping for thee, down by the well, dears. So you see. The end.